just received the Z97X SOC Force motherboard from Gigabyte and this is the newly launched motherboard that will support Devil's Canyon and Haswell Refresh. It will even support the upcoming Broadwell processors and is backwards compatible with Haswell. It features a nice orange black color set and has a jet black PCB which is quite solid. So I have already taken the liberty of opening the motherboard. Uh, you can clearly see the CPU socket. Uh, just let me remove the cover for you. There we go. And basically it's a very nice looking motherboard. The the capacitors are actually durable black solid capacitors which you can quite clearly see. These are the phase capacitors which is 8 plus 4 for the CPU socket. And the CPU socket is the 1150 LGA socket. It has 1150 pins and do not try to put the 1155 processors in it because you'll damage the pins and it's ridiculously easy to damage the pins in these motherboards. Here is a closer look at the durable black solid capacitors and the VRMs. Now here is the Z97 chipset along with the heatsink. Once again an orange and black color scheme. And here are the four PCI slots that can be used for two-way SLI or four-way crossfire. Now here is the ignition button which is actually used to power on the fans without powering on the PC. Uh, this is the OC touch feature of the Gigabyte motherboard. Now here is the overclock ignition button. Here is the overclock tag button and the one touch turbo button. And here is the overclock gear button. Now the rest of the five buttons are one state buttons and they can be used to increase the base clock, power on or the CPU ratio and they are really easy to push. Below these we have the voltage checkpoint modules to use along with the voltmeter and there is the LED for debugging, there is the restart button, there is the direct to BIOS, the safe and the settings lock. And these are actually the uh, dual BIOS and single BIOS force buttons that you see over there. Now these buttons are actually used to physically turn off the DIM slots or the PCI slots. So let's take a look at the back interface now. The first thing is four USB 2.0 slots. Then you have the VGA and the DVI-D slots covered with static shields and then you have the optical out then you have the HDMI and the display port and your user use USB 3, the LAN and even the 5.1 interface then we have the USB OC connect, the set extra ports the box packaging actually includes the installation guide and the manual which is your basically holy grail of the entire motherboard it contains all the technical details A to Z and is a very useful thing to have around. Uh, secondly, we have just two SATA cables, which is slightly less than what other motherboards provide. Uh, we have the the Crossfire and the SLI bridges, which can be used to couple two graphic cards together. And then we have uh, the IO shield, which is used to cover the back port, the back ports of the motherboard. And we have the driver CD here. Uh, this is the installation guide literature, uh, multilingual and oops, uh, wait, I'll just pick that up later. Uh, basically, this is in different languages. And lastly, we have the checkpoint wires, which are used in conjunction with the OC touch. And there's a neat little sticker there too for Gigabyte. Uh, finally, we have the OC brace. Now, this is a very important tool to have around because let, let's open that first. Uh, this is basically what you use when you're using four heavy graphic cards together and you don't want to put too much strain on the motherboard and you basically apply this to the computer, uh, the casing in fact, and, and this is basically what holds the weight of the graphic cards. The rest of the package includes the remaining part of the tool and some nuts. Now this is a really really useful tool to have if you're using more than one or even two graphic cards because with all the back plates and all the aftermarket coolers the weight can get really heavy for the PC. So lastly coming to the benchmarks the Z97X SOC Force 
performed brilliantly in our tests and on the CPU side as well we tested it with POV Ray, with Signbench and it scored the highest and that's not it even in the gaming parts even in the gaming benchmarks it scored brilliantly this motherboard is designed for performance and there is a reason it is the top tier of Gigabyte's lineup so I hope you enjoyed the review I am Asman Pirshada and this is WCCF Tech TV